was the Alice Springs to Darwin mail truck just about to depart the telegraph station at the original Alice Springs. The old telegraph station was later converted to an Aboriginal settlement and known locally as the Bungalow and is presently open as a tourist destination. The actual springs were in the bed of the Todd River, just behind the buildings at the base of a large sloping rock and formed a decent swimming hole which attracted all the kids from the town and the bungalow alike. This is a shot of Kurt Johansson's truck that was known as Big Bertha with a couple of tra trailers on behind the prime mover. Kurt developed the self-cracking trailers which are now used all around the world for road trains and he used to go through bush tracks in the territory that were twisted and turned and uh, the last trailer just followed in his tracks perfectly. This photo is, is important because it's the first load of cattle that were ever carted by road transport in the Northern Territory. The cattle were carted from Murray Downs down to the Alice Springs Railhead. Here's a photo of the late Kurt Johansson in front of his Big Bertha outfit which he's donated to the um, Alice Springs Truck Museum. Uh, he had a quite an engineering mind and a lot of his other feats included concentrating copper ore uh, using evaporative vats. He built a working gas producer that's made its own charcoal from wood from the side of the road and he trimmed the propeller of his gypsy moth with a hatchet after hitting an anthill a long way from town and flying it back. The big berth of the gas producer and the propeller can be seen uh, in Alice Springs at the various museums, well worth having a look at. This is the Australian Army testing the government road train a four-wheel drive vehicle in the depot sand hills, a notorious stretch of sand north of Udnadatta in the Horseshoe Bend area alongside the Fink River. The 130 horsepower AEC built prime mover powered the first of the two trailers eight wheels by means of a drive shaft and a drive shaft to the second trailer made a 24 wheel drive rig fuel consumption was very high as it was grossly underpowered. These photos were taken around about 1934 in the depot sand hills. Um, you notice that um, there's no windows or doors in it. Uh, that was their way of air conditioning it. The radiator was immediately behind the driver and that had a big fan working on it and then in the front cowling of the unit there was another fan blowing air in that had a, a shield over it to stop the the bushes from getting mixed up with the fan blades it ran for a few years and um, it's been restored and you can see it in the um, Alice Springs Transport Museum in all its glory this mail truck operated out of Udnadatta and serviced a a run that extended up the Birdsville track. It was run by a fellow by the name of Alec McLeod. We think the truck's a 1924 Packard two-tonner. We're not too sure about that though. Well here's a real old classic truck, a 1929-1930 Chevrolet two-tonner at Arcuna Station. A fellow by the name of Rathman operated this mail truck out of Pimba, which is near Woomera in South Australia. And Arcuna is about 40 kilometres north of there. This is at Wultana Station in the Flinders Ranges. The truck is a Graham Brothers two-tonner and was the forerunner of the Page Graham, a very important old truck.